Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk to you about attitudes and how you can be successful. And this applies directly to something I encourage everybody to use called LinkedIn. Now, I've learned a lot from contacting people on LinkedIn, to which I contact people throughout the week. And you're capped at about 100 people per week that you can send link invites to. But I've learned something about the responses I get back from people. And the interesting thing is, is the positive responses you get back are usually from some very successful people. And one of the things that I just had a couple days ago, I had somebody that contacted me and said, why are you connecting to me so randomly on LinkedIn? And I, I explained to him that the reason I reach out to people and I try and grow my LinkedIn network is because I want to hear and pay attention to every aspect, every experience that I can in our career field. And what better way to do that than to, to connect with people of different facets, from biomed ones to engineers and directors. And you can do that through LinkedIn. You can even contact uh, doctors and you can be linked up with doctors so you can see a professional side of their opinion on our career field as well. So it's really interesting that somebody contacted me back and said, why are you connecting to me? They're very negative about it. And then they ended up saying at the end that Biomed was one of the most brain dead careers that he ever got into. And he's a scientist and he's, he's better than Biomed. But from his history, he was only like a Biomed too, from what I could tell. And I mean, I just wished him good luck and that I told him Biomed isn't for everybody. That's simple enough. I mean, if he's, thinking it's a brain dead activity, then he's probably not doing something right. But I'll tell you, one of the groups of people that give me the most positive response are usually going to be your biomed managers and your directors, people that I was very anxious and I was hesitant on connecting to these people because, you know, I don't want to waste anybody's time or anything, but at the same time, I want to hear what they have to say. So that's the thing about LinkedIn. It's a bi-directional communication. Yes, people get to hear what I have to say, but even more so, I get to hear what all these different people have to say about the career field, where they think it's going, what they need, what they anticipate. So there's the thing about LinkedIn, is the most positive people that I've met on LinkedIn are also some of the most successful. And if you're negative, if you post negative stuff, generally you're probably not gonna be that successful. It's just a funny aspect of what it is. It's a cross section of the United States, that's for sure, well, international. But LinkedIn is what you make of it, just like your career is what you make of it. And it's unfortunate that some people will respond back so angrily that you even you know, contacted them to connect and then everybody else is like, hey, thank you, I, you know, another resource, or thanks, man, I appreciate it. And it's even better when they look at my history, because you can go into everybody's history and see who they are and, you know, the type of stuff that they post. So when people contact me back and they know some of the stuff that I've done, it shows that they're investing some time into figuring out who I am as a person, too. Those people are usually very successful. So, guys... Just remember, LinkedIn is an excellent tool. I use it constantly. And I'm not using it to sell anybody anything. Usually I'm, I'm trying to find help for something, but it is an awesome resource. And remember, it's a bi-directional communication. You're linking to somebody because not only do maybe they want to hear what you have to say, but you want to hear what they have to say, more importantly. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching.